what's up y'all welcome to my channel this is my first video um today we're gonna be doing a mukbang from nukes i have soup salad chips and a sandwich i'm not gonna cap definitely already started eating um but yeah y'all could jump right on in and eat with me and whatnot this can this is gonna be like an about me meet me get to know me whatever whatever uh, since it's going to be the first video, um, this is a pepper jack crawfish soup, and it is delicious. If y'all know me, y'all know I'm a crawfish fanatic, y'all. I love crawfish so freaking much. So when I saw that they had this, I was like, oh my God, I just have to try you. And let me just say... This bit the bomb. Okay, so first of all, a little bit about me. Um, I am from Shreveport, Louisiana. I have three, technically four siblings. I live with my mom and dad. They are still together. They've been together for like 20 years. Um, my two sisters are older than me and I have a younger brother. And then I have a cousin who's like my brother because like he he's lived with us off and on and like we've taken care of him for a really long time. He's seven. My other brother is 17. And my two older sisters, one is 21, the other one is 22, finna be 23. I'm 19, finna be 20 in August, you know what I'm saying, baby? Almost on my grown woman stuff. I'm about to be, I'm about to be a junior in college. My major is psychology. I used to be an accounting major, but baby, if you know accounting, you know this stuff is hard. I thought I was gonna be liking it. I thought I was gonna be good at it, but guess what? I wasn't. So I changed my major um, second semester, sophomore year, because I took a psychology class and like y'all, I just fell in love with all the material, fell in love with everything I was learning, loved the class so much. And I just saw that that was like my passion, learning people, understanding people, learning why they are the way that they are, learning what makes the person them. I've always been interested in stuff like that. So when I took the class, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. Let me change my major to something I'm gonna actually enjoy. Um, and I'm not gonna cap y'all, baby. My grades at the end of freshman year were not the best. But at the end of sophomore year, I finished with a 3.0 overall and a 3.6 for the semester. You know what I'm saying? Your girl is smart and whatnot. So, um, coming in, going into junior year, obviously I'm gonna try to like excel and still grow and go above and beyond as far as my grades and stuff go. Because um, if I do go to grad school or whatever, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need good grades for that baby because grad school is not cheap. No school is cheap if it just keep it in the book. Um and baby, they be capping talking about scholarships are everywhere. Baby, first of all, they not. All them people who be applying for scholarships, honey, all the competition for scholarships, it be a lot. It be a lot. But I just thank God that I got financial aid and stuff like that that covers my schooling. God came through on all of that, but I still, I did get, I did still get, um, a scholarship from my school though. As far as hobbies and stuff go, I love doing nails and hair, makeup. I love to watch Netflix. Currently, I'm getting into anime. Um, I watched the Avatar because I watched it with my brother when I was younger, baby. That's my show. Yip, yip, oppa, yip, yip. Um, that's my show. I love it. Um, I'm gonna start Seven Deadly Sins. I've started Naruto. I'm kind of getting into Naruto. The plot is a little slow for me. And it'd be a lot going on for me to follow it. But still, I see that the show has a lot of potential. So I'm gonna keep watching it. Um, what else am I watching? I think it's called Bleach. Um, I'm not sure. I don't even remember if I started that show yet. But it's definitely in my list on netflix to watch so yeah i'm into anime i'm gonna get it into anime i love criminal minds 
Um, I'm on like season eight of that show. But baby, Criminal Minds, it be a lot to watch at sometimes. So like, and I binge watch seasons for days and days and days. And baby, all the day, I can't watch it every day. So I've been taking a break for like the last two or so weeks from the show just to get like a mind refresher because that'd be a lot to watch y'all like they don't hesitate to show all the graphics like for real for real um what else am i watching my favorite movie is center stage i watch that movie like at least once a week if y'all haven't seen it y'all should definitely go watch it it's on netflix as well um shameless i need to pick back up on that show I stopped watching it, but that's a good show as well. Um, Drug Inc., baby. Like, those shows, those shows be lit. Like, they're very educational. They keep it real. I don't know. I just like, I don't know if this is bad, but, like, I just like watching drug dealer shows and show how, like, people be out here hustling, making their money and stuff. It's just really interesting to me because, like, they live such a dangerous lifestyle. I don't know. I just like watching it and whatnot. It's a really, they're a really cool show. Like, Drug Inc., Drugs, and some other stuff, too. Um, but, yeah, that's what I watch on Netflix. This lucky like, test, like, real too. I'm out of the, I'm gone. Big facts. The name. Snake. Snake. Baby, you ever realized how much, how little, like, you be doing? Or, like, how bored you are You have, when you have to tell somebody about yourself? Because, y'all, I really do not be doing nothing. But, like, my life be lit. Oh, I do I do hair, like, braiding, natural styles, and things like that. Um, if I if I um, learn how to edit these videos, I edit a clip of the braids I do into here. Okay. 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 And I'll link my my page for my hair stuff below. Um, so yeah, I'm really into makeup and stuff. I love lashes. I just got these babies that I'm wearing right now. This is my friend's brand. I love these so much. They're 25 mm. Um, I've started to get into makeup a lot more recently. I think I'm gonna eat this sandwich, by the way. Um, that sandwich is a little dry, and I don't like that. As far as my salad, I got just a regular um, Caesar salad. Maybe. It's not a piece of chicken on this salad. You see, I'm not sure if they messed up my order or not. Because, first of all, I'm pretty sure... I thought I was supposed to have eggs and stuff in this, but maybe not. <laughs> I could be wrong. But it is what it is. I still like nudes a lot. Let me tell y'all about my friends. Because <laughs> people say that friends are crackheads. Or people be like, oh, I got crackhead energy. Ah, mm, ah. But baby, guess what? Y'all have not seen crackhead energy until you see me and my friends together. Like, y'all. We do so much stuff and have so much fun. We can literally be in the dorm room all day. Maybe give us some food and give us each other and we're going to have a good time. We love having fun. We stay tired. Y'all, I love my friends. We so live. Brand new member, give me fuck a cop car. Pisses in my hand like I'm a cop. Um. Okay, so let's get into music. So, as far as music goes. I don't really know how to describe my music style because I like so many different things. 
I'm that friend that like country music. And my friends, I was trying to get on me like, oh my God, girl, that stuff is trash. Well, baby, I love country music. I love Brent Fires. That's my toxic king, baby. Love him so much. Um, James, I don't know if it's James Vissery or James Vickery, but baby, he has bopped. He's very underrated. Y'all need to go listen to Violet. Y'all need to listen to um, Until Morning. Them songs right there, bops. Don Tolliver, I love Don Tolliver. Um, Travis Scott, I fuck with Travis Scott. Female artists like Love Rihanna, Beyonce, SZA. Y'all, I'm so mad at SZA. Let's just get into it. Because how dare she, how dare she release control and not try to give us nothing else? My girl, that is disrespectful. That album was too good for her to give us only one of them. I'm gonna need her to get that voice together and gonna release another album. First of all, do you know your Megan, baby? Ooh, you know your Megan, baby. Cause I know my Megan, baby. Do so you know your Megan, baby? But yeah, Meg the Stallion, hot girl hottie, love Meg. Um, y'all, I was really finna get into Doja Cat, like for real, for real, because the girl can rap. Let's just talk about it. Doja have bops, but baby, turns out. Miss Doja is racist. She is suffering from internalized racism. Well, I don't even know if I should say suffering. Because, baby, you are grown now. And all that money you have, you should know that you need to be going to therapy and getting help so that you need to so that you can love your blackness because black is beautiful. But I refused. I just stopped supporting her um when those videos came out of her and then racist ass chat rooms and stuff like that. Because I was like, baby, first of all, you hate blackness and you hate black men. However, comma, you're using your black culture for your music career to keep you elevated. Like, how does that work? Make it make sense. Somebody explain it to me because maybe I'm not understanding. You're using your black culture to get ahead or basically to like, that's all her music is black culture. Baby, she be saying the N-word. She be having the hair, the nails, the graphics. And it's just like, you don't even, you don't even love yourself. So it's really like you're really just exploiting the culture for your own personal gain. And I don't like that. So I stopped supporting Doja Cat. Stop supporting Doja Cat. Um, who else? Who else I be listening to? I went through I went through an NBA young boy phase I'm not gonna care but y'all I feel like when you really listen to his music you will see how a lot of his music is a cry for help. Like, he is so mentally damaged. And I feel like, considering his upbringing and the way he was raised and stuff, music is just his outlet. I feel like the system has failed a lot of artists, but I don't want to get too deep in my first video. But hey, it is what it is. I did have a young boy phase. I don't listen to him too, too much. But, you know, if I'm feeling it, then I'm going to listen to it. Um, I went through a Chris Brown phase as well. Um, Indigo was a good ass album. I don't give a fuck what nobody saying. Indigo was a bomb ass album. And that's just that I need. I'm gonna go cap y'all. I'm kind of sleepy. And I'm kind of full. Damn. Um, but Disney Plus. I don't know why I be doing that. I be on TikTok too much. But Disney Plus. On Disney Plus, obviously, I love all the throwbacks. Lemonade, Mouth, Camp Rock, High School Musical, That's So Raven, Hannah Montana. Um, The Last Song, That's with Miley Cyrus and Chris Hemsworth. That's a good movie, and that's on Disney Plus. 
Um, I love, I love Autumn. I don't be watching that often, y'all. Memorial Day weekend was so eventful for my family. Like, um, every night, like, since Friday, we was going hard, like, in the paint. Hanging out, chilling, catching up, all types of stuff. Um, my cousins from Texas came here. Um, yeah, we had a good time. We had a little cookout or whatever. And that was really nice. Y'all, why we had a rap battle at the cookout? Like, baby, don't none of us rap. None of us rap. Think of talking about we having a rap battle. Like, girl, make it make sense. But it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself. And so since we were doing all of that and, like, preparing for that all of last week, I wasn't really, like, on my laptop watching TV shows and stuff like that. <sighs> I'm gonna tell y'all about my relationship status. And y'all girl is single as a Pringle. Sometimes I be ready to mingle, sometimes I don't, baby. I be lying. I'm not gonna cap to y'all. I be lying. Like, y'all talking to people for me is so hard. Like, I just hate talking to people. I don't know. Like, texting all day is not for me. Like, I wish everybody would date like we did, like, when our parents were younger, like, in the 80s and 90s. Like, I want to be courted like my mama was. Like, this new age dating is not for me. The talking stage, baby. Let me, The talking stage no longer exists for me. I'm not talking to nobody. I'm not going to text nobody for no three months, be going to sleep on FaceTime with each other just to find out you had a girlfriend the whole time not for that like our generation and i don't want to be that that person but like our generation has like lost a lot it's like out of touch with that part of reality like the way people date now it's freaking stupid and i can't get behind you um but yeah i'm single and whatnot i've been abstinent meaning like not having any sex or whatever for about a year now it was a year in april and it's gonna be the end of may so a year in the month or whatever and i plan to continue um just because me i just don't think that i just wanted to stop giving my body to people who i felt like didn't deserve it or like showed me after the fact that they didn't deserve it because on the spiritual level soul ties and all this type of stuff is definitely real and i'm just not trying to be like slowly binded to nobody but my husband at the end of the day because that be that be too much people be having too much stuff going on and i don't need to be having my burdens with y'all burdens as well so yeah that's just that i'm there but yeah I still be out here living my best life, though. Now, obviously, you know, sometimes if I see somebody and I think they're cute and I want to shoot, I'll shoot my shot. But um, it don't necessarily mean that, like, it's going to go somewhere. And, like, if somebody see me, they think I'm cute, they want to shoot that shot, sometimes I let them make that shot. Um, but if we start texting and I'm just not feeling your energy, I'm not feeling the vibe, or the Lord didn't tell me you was for me. Nine times out of 10, I'm probably not gonna text you back. Cause like I said, I don't like talking to people. Like I don't like talking to people for no reason, if that makes sense. Like when I talk to my friends, we got something to talk about, you the homie. But like, say a person I just met, if you're not coming at me with no hard energy or the Lord ain't told me I need to text you back or it ain't nothing like important. If you're not coming at me, with that courting energy, like I just said, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to text you back. And I don't be bored enough to be trying to text different types of hoes and stuff. Having hoes just not for me. That's dead. That's boring, too. So, let's get into this hair. I've been dreaded. Okay. I started my dreads in March, the end of March. Okay. End of March to the end of April, end of April to the end of May. So 
So it's been two months. I've been two months locked. And my hair jetted up pretty quickly, y'all. I dyed it, um, I think a week ago. A I dyed story. it brown a week ago. Y'all, why my sister just bought her a whole steak, potatoes, 12 rolls for long corn. It's like, baby, who finna eat all that food? But we have been hungry in the Thomas household, so we'll probably eat it all. Um, but yeah, I've been dreaded for two months. I plan to continue, but, um, I did, I did get a wig. My sister ordered a wig and she ended up not liking it or whatever. So, you know, me being a hair guru and whatnot, I fixed that, I fixed that wig up. And, um, so that was mine. She gave it to me because she didn't want it. Um, but like I cut it into a cute little style. Um, so I do like a wet, I do a wet and wavy look on the wig. Child, 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 child. Y'all are cool. Low key. I wish I had more to talk to y'all about. But I don't really have too, too much else to say. Yeah, y'all. I'm cool. Um, I'm gonna pop a picture in the refrigerator table for later. I barely ate that sandwich because it was dry. Nope. But yeah. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to my first YouTube video. Um, I want to, I know I said in the beginning that I'm not that consistent and I don't know if I'm gonna be that consistent but um, I might can upload every week or every couple of weeks, depending on my work schedule. I'm sorry, I had some stuff stuck in my teeth. Depending on my work schedule and things like that. Um, but yeah, if y'all want to, make sure y'all follow me on all of my social medias. I will have those links, or I'm gonna have the you know, the little icons or whatever um, on the side. So thank y'all so much for tuning in. It's been real. It's been fun. And yeah, um, thank y'all. Meg the Pony is finna skedaddle out of here. Finna ride her ass out of here. But yeah, okay. Toodles. Bye, y'all.